Broadway and beyond now, a brand new comedy about female friendship and the challenges of getting older just opened this week off Broadway. Challenges of getting older. So it's called <laughs> Mad Woman of the West and stars four amazing veterans of stage and screen, including, I can't believe it, Mary Lou Henner, who many will remember as Elaine Nardo from, a, let's see, what was it called? Oh yeah, Taxi. Lullaby of Broadway. The rumble of a subway train. Oh my gosh, I feel so good looking at this. That's and great. And wearing back. That's and Mary so Lou has done it all 76 films, seven Broadway shows, and the New York Times best selling author of 10 books. Wow. She joins us live here to talk on the cows, to talk about her latest project, <laughs> Mad Women of the West. And it was so great to see it. It was so much oh fun. Gosh. Oh my gosh. First of all, thank you so much for coming to see it. It's so much fun to talk to someone who's actually seen the show and has an opinion about oh, it. Did you like it? I you know what I loved? First First of all, they're focusing on women of a certain age. Yeah. And that's me. You know what I mean? It's all about youth and society and this it's, and that. But it's about everything. It's yes, so crazy. Yes. It's like we talk about everything. And guys love it too. That's I mean, true, they really that's do. true. It's and like you probably really learn fun. a lot watching it. So <laughs> yes, you will. how would you describe it and what do you hope people take away from well, it? Well, I describe it as four friends who grew up in college and were really close. One of them went off to seek fame and fortune. That's my character Zoe. The other three are really close still, and they get together to celebrate one of their birthdays and I kind of crash the party and I feel like my character is sort of like the cat in the hat you know she yes. stirs up she doesn't go out of her way to stir up trouble but just her presence it's like the irritant gets the pearl and pretty soon people are revealing things that they wouldn't have revealed mm -hmm. with each other but we talk about everything and I just love the honesty of it yeah. and my character also loves the but honesty. That's also a real life scenario. Yeah. Oh that totally. Happens it to is. Be. Like All you the time. Think of your high school friends mm -hmm. and the varied nature what do you like better TV movies or you know I love all of it. I love all of it. I love, uh, first of all, I do my club act all over. I'm doing it actually in Las Vegas, um, January 20th, which is why I can't stay with this show. Um, but it, I love being on stage and being in present time with people because the audience is almost like another character in the piece. And it's so much fun to have their energy as well. But, you know, Taxi was great because it was shaped as a little play all week and mm -hmm. then it got to be recorded for all time. Too bad they don't still play it. Ah. <laughs> hey, you're also known for your incredible memory. Yes, yes. <laughs> 60 Minutes focused on you and the handful of people documented with this thing, the this testing real thing is ongoing. called oh, look at Highly this. Superior Autobiographical <laughs> Memory. H-SAM, yeah. H-SAM. What is that? It, it, it's, okay, so basically what it means is that we remember virtually every day of our lives. Some part of it we just, you know, I think the criteria that they said is like 200 days, but I think it's probably more for some of the people and so they tested me. when they tested me I spent hours testing and they wired me put me through an MRI they took 300 measurements of my brain they found nine areas ten times larger than the normal brain this and we all everybody who went through the testing we over indexed and we stayed together in a group through all the testing the testing's ongoing they're still calling me once in a while to do testing and stuff so, so it's kind of cool so in, so I can give you a date yes and if I tell you you'll remember that day and what you did yes well, okay. you know, I'm All put right. on the spot we'll here on live we'll TV. See. But. Okay, so my daughter, Rosie, mm -hmm. she was born on October 26, 2003. Okay, so October 26, 2003, that was a Sunday. Oh my gosh, it was. Yeah. <laughs> I was, that was, I know exactly what I was doing on that day. Yeah, um, that was like a really significant time in my life too, but I just remember things. It's like the way, it's so funny because the way James McGaw described it, he said he gives people a date and it's like, it just, it, we go there. It's like I see that whole week. I see, you know, just what, what do was you going remember on. from that day? Well, um, I, well, my my soon-to-be third and final husband. I mean, we didn't get married until 2006. Wow. But we were going through all kinds of things, and uh. that was a, like a celebratory day because one of his cancers had been put in oh. remission the Friday, the day before. Yeah, but every oh, day. That up, like, what are you talking about? Like, a tr if somebody throws a day at you, which I feel right. bad. I mean, I mean, it's kind of like a. It's it's, kind of like I know a, people think it's like a, it's not. But it's if just it's a there. Pain, if it's a painful day, to all the. Oh no! Well, let me that? tell you something. 
you're going to remember every painful day. People go, oh, what about the bad memories? Here's the thing. Memories tied to adrenaline. So people remember the highs and the lows. Mm. And I get to remember all those little sweet, in the middle of the road, our town kind of moments. Right. Do you purposely I... try to not focus no, on no. the bad? No, no. Excuse me. I am an actress. So I, <laughs> people go to class to bring up you bad use memories. The bad. Yeah. You use the bad. I mean, people go like, oh, my niece has it, or my daughter has right. it, or my son has it. I say, get them into acting class, because they will celebrate the fact that they can remember everything in their lives. I don't want to mess you up, but can okay. I reverse it? Can I ask you another way? Um, Danny DeVito's on Broadway, too. Yes! Can you tell me the day on the calendar when you first met Danny Yes, 100%. DeVito? What day was yes, it? Yes, it was, it was uh, J uh, July the 5th, 1978. It was a Wednesday. And we all met for the first time. Well, some of us, I had met for Judd before for the show. Oh. So that was the first read-through of the day. Cool. But, yeah. Oh, my God. It's, uh, it's such a gift. It really is. Do you ever lose keys? No, that's funny. They ask my boys that all the time. What does your mom, does she lose? And they say, this is what she does. She's like, where are my keys? And all of a sudden, she'll stop in the middle of the room. It's like, and she goes back and she goes, oh, right. I used the bathroom right away. It says, I came in there, so they're in there. You know, I just have like, to ask you very quickly, because you've written so many books about wellness and so many things, but also about memory. Is there anything for us normal people that could help improve our memories? Somebody asked me that question yeah. once, once, and they said, uh, what about us muggles? You know? <laughs> yes, is there anything? You know what it is? Do. Stop doing everything this way. Uh, we're not paying any attention. Our attention units are never out. So we're not taking in information. I have a couple theories that they've, they've tested. Um, they're testing, actually. I believe that everyone has a primary track on which they've embedded their memories. In the jigsaw puzzle of your life, what are the hard-edged pieces by which you can interconnect your other memories to? And it could be anything from places you've lived, mm -hmm. traveled, worked, mm -hmm. uh, sports is huge, etc. But also, everyone has a dominant sense. Everyone is a sight, sound, touch, taste, or right, smell person. Right. So when you can cross-connect your, your primary track and your dominant sense, you can figure out how you receive, retain, and then retrieve memories. Okay. So let's say you're a visual person. Take a picture at some point in the day and go, Oh, that's today's picture mm. and then put those pictures away and see how many you can remember because the sad thing I've learned people only remember 8 to 11 days in every year wow. 8 to 11 Except for events. you yeah Mary Lou, thank you so much wow. for being guys, here you're fantastic it's thank you. <laughs> all right and it's so good to catch the wonderful comedy mad women of the west head to the actors temple theater in the Times Square theater district the play runs through December 31st we'll be right back it's